On a do-it-yourself budget, Julie Patton and Eric Pedley put some pizzazz into their small yard, once home to lots of lawn. And then we wanted to spruce it up. The okay. former owner was a mason. I don't think that plants were really his thing. He, he built a lot of great stone structures that we can work with. When the owner of the house lost his eye and stopped building the wall, it was just cinder blocks, so we just stuccoed it and got some nice tiles and got a Texas star. I just kind of like orange and blue. Those are my favorite colors together. Filled in the end um, cinder blocks where he stopped and made planters out of those. We don't barbecue too much, so a lot of that area <laughs> is just plants. Eric chose succulents to enrich the stucco style with their bold lines and softening colors. On the patio, the old handcrafted smoker makes great staging for container succulents. We used it once, but we didn't do that well with it. <laughs> I'm from Utah, I never learned how to barbecue. So how did Eric from Utah get into succulents and actually start an East Austin nursery selling them? A friend of mine gave me some plants when he was moving to Costa Rica and that kind of sparked my uh, initial addiction and then I went to a succulent society show and sale and won some plants in a raffle and then I just wanted more and more and more. There was no plan. I've, I've, I was never a plant person. I just have an addictive personality. You know, as a kid it was football cards, mad magazines, garbage bell kids. In his backyard, Eric propagates many of the plants for East Austin succulents in greenhouses that are more addictive than mowing grass. In one greenhouse, he grafts some plants on the various fast-growing cacti. In his hoop house, he grows succulents and seasonal vegetables. Since this is their home garden and after-work hangout, Julie put a new face on the standard concrete patio. It's a concrete stain now. Yeah. You have to etch it. You, you do a, like a chemical to it so that the concrete stain stays. Paint would never stay in a high traffic area. While Eric recycles plants, Julie recycles nursery pallets. I just couldn't even believe the things you could do with pallets. So I started picking up pallets and just trying little things. I had a ton of pallets, but I've only come up with this chair and this table so far, and but I'm not finished. Your compost bin inside. Yeah, I have yep. a compost bin I made inside. But it's really neat and it's a cheap way to make your backyard look really pretty. Their rescued pets approve. She pepped up a foundling chiminea to match their vibrant scheme. I love color, I love it. I just literally, I got spray, the brightest color red spray paint and I just sprayed it, you know, every so often I didn't do it all at once. I would just do it when I'd come out here, that way I could see spots that were kind of dirty and keep the dirtiness there. That way it looked a little more natural. Eric crafted some of the furniture too. I went through a woodworking phase, but I started getting scared because I didn't know where the hospital was. I just wanted to make a bench, and I found out that all the uh, mills, mill yards or whatever, are out in Bastrop, and there's a few of them. So my buddy and I drove out and bought a log. It's aromatic cedar. Every time you sand it d down each season, new colors come out. It's a really pretty wood to work with, and uh, the cats love sitting on it. I wanted to build a ladder that was artistic and useful and permanent. You know, I, I wanted to be able to get on the, the roof of the shed and watch the sunsets and chill out with the cats. It's not scary when you walk up it. You can carry stuff up and it's not just really shallow, it's not real skinny. And as far as everything else, like recycling, I mean, like these pots here, all of these, I got them for free. They were all free. You gotta take advantage of Craigslist. You gotta just, you know, keep your eye out for things. And you can make a really beautiful things and it not cost anything at all. They enrich the gardens and containers with homemade compost. For succulent containers, Eric mixes finished compost with wood chips, gravel, or perlite. To water their vegetables and their succulents when they need it, Julie and Eric head to the rain barrel. And a lot of people get rain barrels and spend a lot of time scooping their thing in and, and watering slowly or raising it up and getting a little trickle out of the hose. But if you just get a $50 sump pump and attach it to your hose, you can have great water pressure to water all your plants. And you have oxygenated um, 
uh, magnetized water that's really healthy and you can add all your nutrients and you can add soap for bugs and it's just a really easy way to fertilize your plants if you have a lot of plants. Eric raids office supply surplus stores for file cabinet planters drilled for drainage at the bottom. Here's a tip to save on soil in massive planters. Just styrofoam blocks usually. Shake, shake your dirt down with big styrofoam blocks or even logs or um, upside down buckets. That, that's a good way to fill in that space. As far as design for the file cabinet, you just put height to the back and trailing stuff in the front. I just keep it simple. There are rules. You want a spiller and a filler and something else. I forget what it is, but spiller, thriller, you want a spiller, thriller, thri oh my god, what is it? So your thriller is kind of the star of the show, and I love agaves for that. Just something that's the crown of an arrangement. Mm -hmm. And then you have your height to the back, and then you have something that's going to kind of trail over. And you want odd numbers. Simple. I just want variety. Most of the things out there are just from a six inch pot. It's a young yard, just things that I can get for cheap that will grow really well. You know, I always put the yuccas to the back because they're gonna grow a lot taller than the agaves. And then throw in some ghost plants because ghost, ghost plants are really cold hardy and they soften things. They make little cute spots, you know. So with every agave you plant, you can just throw in some ghost plants or some aptenia cordiflora like the ice plant. I don't know any landscape design at all. I just kind of stick things where I like them and change them if I, I need to. So it's just, uh, just the desire to get rid of more grass bit by bit over the years. Since Eric's growing on heavier soil, he trimmed the trees to allow full sun. In part, shade gardens provide good drainage since soil won't dry out as quickly after rains. And then top dressing makes everything look 10 times better. If you just have some gravel on top covering up the dirt, it looks great. For a more organic look, Eric edges with scavenged stones, easily moved when he wants to broaden his plant avenue. That makes it prettier. Or even paver stones flipped up, you know, the skinny way, the wrong way, and you kind of bury them in the ground. It, it, you kind of make little statues around the yard for free. Julie and Eric lucked into a brick mailbox from the former owner. Heat-loving, shallow-rooted succulents handled this postal position quite well. A lot of succulents like a confined space. A lot of the mailboxes around here have empty spots, so I'll just kind of go late at night and fill them in. I know them, so they wouldn't get too mad, but... Yeah, you know. <laughs> He's, do you think they'll be mad at me? And I'm like, no, it's awesome, go yeah. do it. Eric's made lots of new friends since he met his succulent destination. Well, I had 11 jobs my first year in Austin. <laughs> I have a degree in environmental studies that got me into the Peace Corps, but I never really used it because you, ha you have to be environmental science or something to get good jobs. So I was just doing what I needed to do to pay the bills, bartending, and um, I'm really glad that I, I fell into it because I discovered a passion. I like doing what I'm doing, and uh, it's been nice. And I always have spines all over me, and my back hurts and my feet hurt, but I love succulents. <laughs> <laughs>